10 Gecko Moria. Recently, Moria raided one of the Blackbeard Pirates Islands to confront Blackbeard and look for the missing Absalom. However, he discovered that Absalom has been killed and Shiryu has taken his devil fruit power. Blackbeard invited Moria to join him. Will Moria accept or decline Blackbeard's invitation to sail under his flag? 9 Edward Weevil Another fight that will probably take place during the Wano arc is the one between the remnant Whitebeard pirates and the self-proclaimed son of Whitebeard and current Shichibukai, Weevil. During the time skip, Weevil fought and destroyed 15 pirate crews that served under Whitebeard, in order to claim Whitebeard's treasure that Bakken promised him. All of these started as small arguments that turned into large conflicts. After the Shichibukai system was abolished, Weevil and his mother found themselves confronted by the Marines. Seeing that they were no longer allies, Bakken gave Weevil permission to take out the Marines, which he was happy to do. It is very unlikely that the Marines will capture Weevil. If Weevil shows up at Whitebeard's home country Sphinx, he is going to have a hard time. 8. Marco after the payback war, Marco went to Whitebeard's home village and worked as a doctor there. When Nekomamushi came to the village to find him, Marco talked about Whitebeard's history with the village. He also heard about Edward Weevil attacking those connected to Whitebeard in search of a fortune that does not exist. Because of the possibility that Weevil would attack the village as well, Marco decided to remain in the village to protect it. Some speculated that Weevil will kill Marco. 7. Inwarashi or Nekomamushi Inwarashi and Nekomamushi are the two rulers of the Makomo dukedom and retainers of the Kazuki family of Wano country. The two have a high chance of fighting Jack the Drought as revenge and we might get to see their Sulong forms during the Wano arc. There's the possibility that one of the two will die and the minks will be left with only one leader. 6. Kinemon or one of Odin's nine red scabbards the Nine Red Scabbards are a squad of formidable samurai who served Kazuki Odin. Their captain is Kinemon. The group includes also Raizo, Kanjiro, Kakunojo, Kawamatsu, Ashura Doji and Inwarashi and Nekomamushi of the Mink tribe. The last member, Denjiro, has yet to reveal himself. Twenty years ago during the Beast's Pirates takeover of Wano Country, they were supposedly taken down by the Shogun Kirozumi Orochi for the family's plan to open up the borders of Wano. Despite their defeat, it was prophesied by Kazuki Toki that they will return 20 years later to claim their vengeance. In fact Toki used her Toki Toki no MI abilities to send Kinemon and Raizo's group to the designated period, ensuring at least two members of the group would resurface. 5 Trafalgar Law The most anticipated fight in Wano is the final clash between the Supernovas trio, Luffy, Law and Kid, and Kaido. There's a pretty popular theory according to which Luffy will literally die at the hands of Kaido and Law will use his Oak Oak, no MI power not to give him eternal youth, but to bring him back to life. 4. Eustace Kid Eustace Kid will join Luffy in order to take revenge on Kaido. We all know what a monster Kaido is, so Kid could definitely be one of the characters that could die at Wano Country. 3. Kirozumi Orochi Hirozumi Orochi is the shogun and ruler of Wano country. Twenty years ago Odin's wife Kazuki Toki proclaimed a curse on Orochi. Toki specifically told Orochi that nine shadows will be cast on a moonlit night and kill him in twenty years. Orochi interpreted it as a prophecy that nine samurai would kill him in revenge. We know that Asura has nine hands and appear like nine shadows. Also Oda wouldn't just reveal that Orochi uses a two-sword style just like that for no reason. I think it heavily implies Zoro will fight him because he uses three-sword style. Orochi will think it's the nine samurais that have come to kill him. But he will be killed by Zoro's Asura which he is not expecting at all but it fulfills the prophecy in the end. 2. Big Mom Big Mom traveled to Wano country with her crew and children in pursuit of the straw hats and to retrieve Zeus. At Onigashima, Big Mom has allied with Kaido. The two Yonko decided to form an alliance, resolving to take over the world together before going back to trying to kill each other. 
This makes Big Mom the main opponent in the upcoming war in Wano alongside Kaido. 1. Kaido Since the beginning Kaido was hinted to be the main opponent of Luffy and his allies in the Wano War. We know that Luffy and his allies are going to somehow defeat Kaido. Kaido is said to be immortal, he's been hyped up as indestructible and more importantly, he wants to die. So it makes sense if Kaido is killed at the end of the Wano arc.